Next, let's talk about setting up the template. Templates are great, but you need to make a template your own before you begin working on it. In this section, we'll walk you through the template setup process so that you can customize it to fit your needs. Let's start by customizing the calendar view. By default, all calendar views utilize the task start dates and due dates, but it can be modified to use custom date fields. Tasks will then appear on the calendar according to their launch date, review date, or draft date. You can use any combination of the custom date fields you'd like. To customize your calendar view, first navigate to your calendar view and click Show in the top right corner. Under Task Dates, select Date Custom Field, and then toggle on Launch Date, Review Date, or Draft Date. Select Save in the bottom right-hand corner to save your changes. Next, let's create a task template for incoming requests. This is a template that will be applied to each new task that gets created by the intake form. First, open the example task from the incoming requests list view. Next, review the subtasks to be sure the structure of work matches your needs and add a description to the task or add additional items like checklists. Click the three dots, choose Template Center, and then save as template. Once here, give your template a name and choose Customize Included Items. Deselect everything except the specific items that you added or want to keep. This may include the subtasks, the descriptions, or a checklist. Click the Save button once done. Next, let's set up automations. There are three automations you may want to set up before starting to use the template. Applying campaign process task templates, moving the task to the appropriate list, and adding a comment to the new task created via the submission form. Applying a campaign process task template. This automation will automatically apply a task template for our campaign process using the previously created task template. This will add the related subtasks or description and checklists to all new requests that are submitted. To create this automation, first navigate to the incoming request list because this is where we want the automation to live. In the sidebar, click the three dots. Next, select List Settings and click Automations, and then Add Automation. Set When to Task Created. Set Then to Apply a Template. Select the one created above. Click the Create button once done. Next, let's make an automation that will move the task to the appropriate list. What this means is that when the task type custom field is updated, the task that has that custom field updated will be moved to the appropriate list. First, navigate to the incoming request list and click the three dots. Select list settings, click automations and add automation. Set when to custom field task type is campaign. Set then to move to the campaign list. Let's do it again and set when to custom field task type is promotion, and then set then to move to the promotions list. Click the create button once you're done. Finally, let's add an automation that will add a comment to any new task created via the submission form. Navigate to the new request form and click the automate and then add automation button. Set when to task created. Set then to add a comment and type a comment for your team like at team or at individual. A new request has come through. Click the create button once done. Finally, within the campaigns list, we can create two formula fields that enable you to review and track initiative spending and conversion rates at a glance. Navigate to the All Campaigns view within the Campaigns list. Click the Add a Column icon on the far right and select Formula from the drop-down menu. The first formula we're going to create is called Budget Remaining. Name your field Budget Remaining and click Add Column. After the budget remaining column appears, click the FX icon, set budget as the first value, 
set spend as the second, and select subtraction as the operator. Click calculate once done. Next, repeat steps one and two before creating the second field, which is going to be conversion rate. For the conversion rate field, name your field conversion rate and click add column. After the conversion rate column appears, click the FX icon to configure. Toggle on the advanced editor and paste in the following formula. Click calculate once done. 